Hi, hello and good morning. So I'm taking the time to make this video because we are officially 24 hours away around this time tomorrow. A lot of us will be prepping our uh, breakfasts and you know uh, meal prepping for the week. Um, so I just want to come today to one, thank everyone that wants to be a part of this challenge. There's been a lot of new faces, a lot of new comments that I've been seeing that um, people have been saying they want to start the challenge. So shout out to you guys. Shout out to my cousin Tina um, for thinking about wanting to do the challenge. And I emphasize thinking because I feel like if you really want to do it, uh, there should be nothing that's going to tell you that you can't do it. Maybe it's the fear that you won't do it or the fear of failing to do it. But I feel like if, you know, it's something that you really want to do, I just say just do it. You guys have so much support. You can find support within each other. There are plenty of you guys that are looking to start this challenge that, you know, within my family itself. So, you know, my mom, my sister... Uh, a lot of my cousins down in Florida, we all have each other for support. For all of those that are not in those groups, uh, you definitely have me. You can invite your friends to do our challenge and we can all do it together. So that's number one. I want to thank everyone for um, uh, coming out and saying, okay, I want to make a change. I want to challenge myself. You know, this is something that I trust that can, you know, truly get Get me there. For those that are doing it for disciplinary reasons, which are great reasons. For those of you like me who are doing it for health reasons and for weight loss success, um, those are great reasons as well. Um, I just want to touch on real quick some things that I found online um, when I was looking up different types of fish. Um, I found Red Snapper. Now, I can't say that I've honestly ever eaten Red Snapper or cooked with red snapper, but that's something that I'm definitely interested in um, trying. And the cooking suggestion for red snapper would be either to broil, bake, steam, or poach. I don't really know much about poaching, but this is the great uh, advantage we have with the internet. So. I also found that they said that picking larger fish families uh, will result in having more meat and less bones. As I said yesterday, uh, whiting is really not the best fish to eat because it's very bony. And whiting was one of the things that they uh, that was on the no list for bone for fish with lots of bones. And they also said porgies, which they're smaller fish. I doubt anyone would go into a fish market and pick up a porgy. I also want to. Um, Speak on rice flour. I'm not too familiar with what rice flour is, but from what I read, it's just flour milled uh, together. And it also comes in a brown rice flour uh, content, which is good for frying. So if you get, if you guys do decide to, to fry at any point, um, I would recommend to use either wheat flour or rice flour. Just make sure it's 100% or organic. Um, and then, of course, use extra virgin olive oil. We don't want to use any kind of regular oils because it's not really good for us. Um, I also found that it is, if you don't want to go that route, you can uh, you can uh, put in like cornflakes, plain cornflakes in a Ziploc bag and mash it or put it in uh, a fruit processor or blender and pulse it until it crushes. And then you can dip your fish and that and bake it, which is a great idea. Uh, let's see. I also found flounder, which I didn't speak about yesterday, as a good source of protein. I also found quinoa. Quinoa, from what they're saying, uh, it's really good. I've never tried it, but I'm definitely open, so I'm going to go look for that uh, when I get out. And I just wanna, I just want to mention that the focus for this challenge is not fish, it's not seafood. The focus for this challenge is to find and create meals that are meatless. If you feel like you need to have some kind of meat, some kind of substance, you know, outside of vegetables in your diet, meat, uh, the fish and the, the, 
meat in the fish is okay. Um, I definitely don't want to make it seem like every single meal that we're making, we're making either with fish or shrimp or some kind of seafood. The, the idea, the ideal meal is to focus on vegetables, to focus on uh, healthy starches. So every meal you're going to have a tilapia or salmon, it's going to defeat the purpose of the challenge. Just saying. Okay. Uh, kale. Kale I found when I did my challenge last year. Um, I found some little uh, raviolis with a stuff like like a three cheese or something like that. And what you can do is you can cook them in uh, vegetable stock. I believe it was. You put equal parts of vegetable stock to water. You saute it. You can make it with kale. Um, I found that uh, mushrooms was a great uh, alternative for meat. So if you guys like mushrooms, I don't really care for mushrooms when they're all big and juicy. But if you if we slice them really thin, I saute them up, they plump up great. So mushrooms are a good idea for me. Um, let's see. Yeah, I found some great recipes for scallops, for mussels. Um, if you guys want me to send you the, um, the, uh, recipes that I found, you could definitely let me know. I have them all in the email attachment. So it'll be one or two emails with the, um, recipes itself. And I can send you guys that. Just let me know. Uh, touched on, there's one more thing I want to touch on. I think that's it. I should have been prepared. I kind of am, but this is the third take of this video. The other video was about 15 minutes, and I don't want to run this video that long because I wouldn't have the attention span to watch someone talk for 15 minutes. So we're going on seven minutes now. I'm just going to give some quick shout outs. I want to give a shout out to my family, uh, to my mom, to my sisters, to my cousins, and everyone that is uh, uh, coming into this journey with me uh, starting tomorrow. Just, guys, make sure that you are prepared for tomorrow, that you have everything you need, that you have an idea of the kind of meals you want to cook. I know we all have busy lives, but eating is the one thing that we have to do. So the best thing to prepare for that is to prepare. Uh, I want you guys to prepare mentally and emotionally. I want you guys to come into this challenge with an open mind. Uh, coming to this challenge with the mentality that it can be done because once you tell yourself you can't do it You're not going to do it and that's that's pretty much the bottom line um, I want to give a shout out to all my friends um, that's joining this um, Journey with me again as well uh, to CC to to Lou Lou We've been through a lot of challenges together. We've done our fro challenge uh, we've done uh, our 21 day Oprah meditation challenge. We have tried the 21 day uh, Mr. Shut Up and Train challenge, which I did not finish. I got to day seven, but it was really hard. And th I didn't finish because I told myself, I can't do this. It's, it's physically impossible for me. I didn't want to uh, moderate the exercises and I just gave up. So shout out to Lou for finishing the 21 day Mr. Shut Up and Train challenge. Um, Shout out to all my family in the East. Shout out to Ebony and Annette. Um, you guys definitely are going to be great in this challenge. Um, I wish you guys all the success. Um, I definitely will be trying to help as many people as I can come up with recipes and come up with ideas and trying to figure out what we can do um, as far as making different meals, not, you know, pretty much succeeding. I also want to say one more thing. Um, I'm not sure if I'm deciding to do it within the next halfway through the month or on, at a 21-day point, um, just as a thank you for you guys. But I definitely want to share my poem with you guys that I wrote. Um, I wrote it for I wrote it when the Black Autonomy was doing um, the poetry at the Five Spot. I just never had the goal to do it on stage. I've never performed before, and I don't think that I was ready. But I think. Um, I think I think I can perform for my camera. So Yeah. I'm going to do that for you guys as a thank you. I want to share this poem with you guys. 
it's uh it's called things for my child it was i wrote it when i was um promoting my things for my child foundation which is just on hold for right now because i'm and you know i'm embarking on so many things right now so i'm gonna let that chill for a little while while i'm you know starting new journeys and you know bringing new things to the table so i thank you guys for supporting me in that for all those that donated thank you um i'm really looking forward to this challenge tomorrow so I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are prepared mentally, emotionally. The only thing that it's going to take at this time right now at this point is preparation. I cannot I cannot emphasize how important preparation is for tomorrow. Um, if, it, if it goes with things in your refrigerator, um, the things that you think that you allow your mind and your body to be consumed with is very important for weight loss. People ask me all the time, Robin, how did you lose 90 pounds? When I got to the point where I told myself I was tired, I was tired. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. And nothing's going to tell me that I can't. And I really believe that I could do it. So it's the belief that you can get through 28 days, one short February month of not eating meat. And that's just, that's what it's going to be for most of us, for some of us um, in this challenge. Just change your thinking. Change the way you think. Change what you continue to feed your mind with. If you have to look up recipes every day for ideas, if you want to call me or text me or hit me in the inbox for motivation, we are all accountable for each other at this point. We are getting into this challenge together. Let's be accountable for each other. Okay? Sounds fair? All right. So, I'll be posting my first meal tomorrow. I will see you guys, um, whatever I decide to make. Um, I'm still going to be doing my Herbalife. I'm going to be st still going to be replacing two of my meals. So whichever meal I decide to eat for that day, I will post it, and it will be meatless. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll post again. Keep me updated. Do what you can. Call me, text me, hit me in inbox, bug me. Let me know whatever you need from me. For anyone who wants those emails, I can send you the emails. Just let me know, all right? Thanks. Goodbye.